as you can see, Apollo is losing his coat. All being well, if it's not raining, um, we'll be going on our first event. He should have gone on an event, but the weather was too bad to go on it. Um, so we're now uh, going to do that. Now, beside, I'm going to clip all this off. And um, I think he'll look smarter for it. He hasn't got shoes on, as you can see. But we're only doing 22 kilometres, uh, which I think will be mostly on grass. So I don't think that that's a problem. The farrier's coming out um, the following week, so we'll, we'll know what he says. But I think they're standing up pretty well because we're not getting a huge amount of work. It's just more on tick over. Um, so I'm going to cut all that off. So I, I use battery operated clippers. They are more expensive than the electric but they're so much more convenient, it's worth the extra expense and they do last for many, many years so it is worth investing in a good clipper. This is the battery side, it comes with two of these batteries. And, um, eyepiece clippers, face clippers, Apollo, um, they're also Ascalop. 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 That's the start, and then he's having a little break now, and then a soup, some treats. See, it's not the most pleasant thing for a horse having his uh, fat locks clipped. Okay, like that. Little and often, and treats. There you go. That's a nice treaty for a chap, isn't it? Nice treaties. Little, little heart shaped treaty. A bit of a stark treat. <laughs> They're nice, aren't they? There you go.
Ой. So two's done. He's had his treaty. So I'm going to leave it there for a few hours because I've got to take care of my back, which is um, a bit dodgy. So not to overdo it, I've learnt um, even though he doesn't put weight in his foot, it's still bending over at awkward angles. And uh, there is a little bit of weight there, obviously, you can hold in it at some st sometimes. Not because I've put any weight in it. If you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon. We love reading the comments, we love emojis, and we'd love a thumbs up.